Hi, Dr. Alexander. It's great to check in with you again. I've been practicing the strategies we discussed in my last appointment, and they seem to be helping. Thank you. I started using an app to track my feelings and emotions, and I share this information with my therapist. It helps both of us understand my progress and identify the next steps in my treatment plan. I wanted to know more about my daughter's recent diagnosis. Her therapist recommended educational videos that I could watch online. I found them very helpful in understanding my daughter's treatment plan and supporting her recovery journey. These are just a few of the many ways that technology can be used to help in mental health education, care, and treatment. These new digital options for accessing health services, monitoring treatment, and finding information on health topics and health care all fall under the umbrella of telehealth. Technologies used in telehealth include apps for smartphones and tablets, video conferencing, educational videos and websites, and online patient portals. For men and women who find it difficult to travel to and from a doctor's office, telehealth may be an affordable, accessible alternative. When we moved out to the country, I realized that it would take me more than an hour to drive to the nearest mental health professional. I went to my primary care doctor, and he was able to recommend a telehealth psychiatrist. Now, my psychiatrist and I use video chatting for some of our appointments or texting when I need more immediate care. I can even meet her in person when I need a face-to-face -face session. Telehealth tools can also support in-person treatment. I feel like my mental health app helps me work toward my treatment goals. It allows my therapist and me a better understanding of what triggers my symptoms and helps me keep track of my therapy homework. People may find that telehealth tools help them feel less alone and more empowered when experiencing mental health issues. My daughter's therapist was glad to hear that I felt more prepared as a caregiver after watching videos about my daughter's mental health issues and learning more about how to support her. When deciding if online mental health care options might work in your treatment plan, you should also be aware of the potential drawbacks. There may be additional costs as well as privacy concerns when using telehealth services. Talk to your healthcare provider to learn more. Cost considerations for telehealth may include the cost of phones, computers, and high-speed internet. If you decide to move forward with telehealth services, such as treatment, team appointments, or sharing your health information, talk to your healthcare provider about the privacy of your information. Be sure there are data privacy protections in place so that the healthcare information you share over the internet is not accessible to others. It is important for you to carefully weigh the benefits and drawbacks of telehealth services. Let's hear more from men and women who use telehealth services. It has been a lifesaver to be able to talk to Dr. Alexander on my laptop when I feel my symptoms coming on, rather than having to miss time from work to drive over an hour to her office. Using the app has made my recovery journey a part of my everyday life instead of something I only work on during my appointments. The online videos have really helped me feel like an important part of my daughter's healthcare team and treatment journey. The use of telehealth technologies in combination with traditional care is one way to bring you, your support network, and your treatment team together to support you and treat mental health needs.